in. I get it, bro. I get it. I get it. Good morning, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to this mental house with me, your host, Kadeem. Um, I got this article from the Shane Room, and they say Quavo is taking a strong stance against gun violence. This week, Migos rappers visited Washington, D.C. to meet with the White House and openly spoke on the subject at the 2023 Black Congressional Caucus. According to the Associated Press, the artist met with several political heads, including Vice President Kamala Harris. He also met with House Democratic Leader Hakeem Jeffries, uh, Cory Booker, Senator Cory Booker, Representative Lucy McBath, um, Stephen Horsford, Lisa Blunt Rochester, Robin Kelly, and Maxwell Frost. Um, and um, the, after the meeting, the vice president's team shared a thank you note. Quavo, who posted alongside of uh, Vice President Harris in the photo, reacted to the comment by saying, thanks for everything. Uh, well, Quavius Marshall was on the White House grounds honoring takeoff legacy and advocating for gun violence prevention. The hashtag references Quavo's nephew, former Migos member Takeoff. Last November, the 28 were shot, year old was shot in the head and torso and killed in Houston, Texas. Though there was a reported verbal altercation, Houston police previously clarified Takeoff was simply an innocent bystander. Hours after the shooting, heartbreaking footage of Quavo screaming and crying near his bleeding nephew circulated heavily on the social media. Quavo has released two tracks honoring his nephew since then. The Atlantic artist released Without You in January and Greatness in February. Now, as we approach the first anniversary of Takeoff passing, his uncle is turning pain into purpose. Music is storytelling, and no one can tell my story better than me. For me and my family, the fight against gun violence is personal, not something we are going to forget, Quavo told CNN via um, a statement. We are coming to D.C. bringing voices of millions of families with us that have been hurt by this kind of violence. Yeah, I'm glad to see you want to be part of and if this if this is true and I wouldn't, you know, doubt it after you go through this and you sitting right there, you know, you want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. According to the AP, the rapper entered the CBC venue hand in hand with Takeoff's mother, uh, Titania Davenport, also his sister. He reportedly revealed at the panel that he frequently asked himself about gun safety after takeoff's death. The artist also advocated doing better with control of guns and preventing people from going anywhere and thinking they can just hurt somebody. And how do you keep them out of the hands of people and that make bad decisions? I'm kind of in uh, a half and a half place. Even police have guns. Unfortunately, some of the people in our culture and loved ones have been lost to police brutality. It's all about choices and how we can put a filter on who can use these guns. Uh, because I believe that some officers should just have tasers. I don't believe some officers, and they'll kill you with them. But some officers don't even need a firearm at all. At all. Uh, they're too authoritarian. They ain't had no power in their house. They are um, very, uh, what do you call them, 
casterized or men that um, need need some help. They they run around. They have the authoritarian type of uh, attitude, and they just want somebody to take it out. Especially if they was at home and they uh, preteen son was uh, talking smart and smack to him, and their wife is having an affair, and you know you got cops out there with all kinds of problems, but they got a gun and they shouldn't have one. And their mental evaluation should be more than anybody because they got their ability to kill people out there on the streets. And until Joe Biden do something about that, we should stay on his ass about that right there. That's what that's what should happen. For them to be going around killing us with immunity? Impunity. They, I mean, look at this. So I agree with him. We got to put a, get some kind of filter. Some of these police don't even need guns. He also advocated for more resources, saying he needs a bag of goodies to return and feed his culture. His visit to the White House inspired his realization of more resources. Y'all, excuse me. It's a fly in here driving me nuts. Last year, in honor of Takeoff, Quavo and his family launched the Rocket Foundation. It's a web, uh, and it was established to support programs which are saving lives through proven community based solutions to prevent gun violence. Four organizations were to receive the first round of funding, including Community Justice Action Fund, who sponsored the panel, Hope Hustlers, Live Free and Offenders Alumni Association. In June, Rolling Stone reported that Takeoff's mother filed a wrongful death suit against the 18 billiards in Bowling, the uh, venue where Takeoff uh, eventually I mean, passed away. On Thursday morning, a Good Morning America released an exclusive interview about his Washington, D.C. efforts, and he told senior congressional correspondent that takeoff would most definitely be proud of. I mean, that was very sad. It's it's a tough thing knowing that we separated and knowing I'm not going to see him again on this earth. But it's hard. And I know he's proud of me. He said in an emotional tone. I know a lot of loved ones out there that lost a loved one to gun violence. Um, rapper Quavo Stunton uh, talks to Rachel Scott about advocating for gun safety after his visit to Capitol Hill after um, his nephew and bandmate take off was killed last year. I mean, I can't see nothing bad coming out of that, and I commend him. I respect him, and I appreciate uh, your willingness to not be part of the problem, but part of the solution. Be blessed. Be blessed, young warrior. And with that being said, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. Hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. Or you can hit the dislike button, hit the dislike button. It don't matter. Just engage with me. I'll see y'all in the next video.